Hi, this is Dennis with Battleborn Batteries, and I wanted to talk about the Precision Circuits Battery Guardian. This is the BGA-225, and this is a beautiful little device that Precision Circuits made for us. And the purpose of the device is to monitor the battery voltage and to cut the current when the battery voltage drops below a prescribed level. So let me explain why you might want to do that. The battery itself has its own low voltage cutoff. We call it the low voltage disconnect. Now you can take the batteries all the way down to low voltage disconnect and there's nothing wrong with that. But if they are in low voltage disconnect and you have trouble charging the batteries back up because your chargers don't detect the batteries, then you may need to jumpstart the battery with another 12 volt source. If you don't wanna ever have to worry about that, then the battery guard is a wonderful device to install between the batteries and your DC bus because your DC bus does not have its own low voltage cutoff. So the device itself is mounted on the positive side between your battery bank and your DC load. There are two load bearing terminals on the device. One is labeled battery, which obviously connects to the positive terminal of your battery bank. And the other is labeled load, which goes out to your DC loads. There are a couple other pins here that I wanted to talk about. First of all, the smaller middle pin is the ground pin. Now obviously you need to connect to chassis ground in order to measure the battery voltage reference to a ground. So your chassis ground connects to the ground pin. Now there's a couple other pins here as well. One is labeled ignition and the other is labeled signal. Now it actually doesn't have anything to do with ignition but uh, Precision Circuits uses the same template on a couple of their devices. But these pins do serve a purpose. Now, in order to activate the device, the signal pin has to be grounded. So you can see in this particular setup, the signal pin is actually just jumpered to the ground pin. As soon as it's jumpered to the ground pin, then the device is activated. It will actually shut off below your prescribed voltage. If it's floating, then the device is not activated and it will not shut off. So it's important when in the final installation that the signal pin be grounded. Now the ignition pin, you can see in this setup, is floating. Typically, for a lithium iron phosphate bank, you're going to leave it floating. The reason that you might ground it is to change the low voltage cutoff. So there's two states in this device. One is when the ignition pin is floating and the cutoff is at 11 and a half volts. That's what we recommend because it's at about 98, 99% depth of discharge. You get almost the entire capacity out of the bank, but it'll cut out just before you hit low voltage disconnect on the batteries. If you ground the ignition pin, then it's gonna raise that threshold voltage up to 12.2 volts. So if you actually use this and you wanna cut off, let's say a lead acid battery or something else, you can change that threshold voltage. So you can either operate at 11 and a half or a 12.2 volt cutoff. Now the actual device name is the BGA-225. That 225 references the maximum current that, de that de the device can take, which is 225 volts. And if you have any questions about the BGA-225 Battery Guardian, please call in at Battleborn Batteries and we'll be happy to help.